I absolutely love thrifting and today I'm going to bring you along with me to a couple of different places and I can't wait to show you at the end what I ended up finding and bringing home with me. Right away we came across these beautiful blue and white pieces. I loved the twin vases but I can be kind of picky about my blue and white patterns. What I really liked was that picture in the back but I couldn't find anyone to get it down for me and it's probably a good thing because I really didn't need it. These little Limoges plates caught my eye immediately when I walked by this case. There were only three of those beautiful little plates and they were quite expensive so I left them there but that pattern was just to die for. Right near this case was this amazing assortment of what turned out to be Syracuse china. I could tell from looking at it that it wasn't super high-end china, but it still was beautiful. It was so substantial. And again, sure enough, it was Syracuse china, somewhere between ironstone and fine china. This would be such a great set for someone who was either just starting out with their household or even for someone who was looking for something a little bit nicer for every day. I hope someone comes across this who is just thrilled to find it. This little blue and white trinket dish caught my eye and imagine my surprise when I realized there were hydrangeas on it. It's Japanese China and that actually makes sense as hydrangeas are native to the mountains of Japan, which is something I learned this summer when I started getting interested in hydrangeas. So blue and white, hydrangeas, porcelain, perfect. This definitely came home with me. This French country lamp was so beautiful, but I didn't really understand the color choice on that globe. I thought it detracted from the piece, honestly. Most of this booth was lamp bases, lamp shades, lamp parts, and there were some beautiful pieces in here and some great deals. This cream lamp base almost looked like Lennox. It was so beautiful and only $38.95. Honestly, watching this back, I kind of wish I had bought it now. <laughs> I do like to keep an eye out for brown transferware, especially at this time of year. It's a great thing to thrift for autumn. This picture was beautiful, but really overpriced for the shape it was in, so I left it for someone else who might be interested in it. This huge French provincial buffet stopped me in my tracks. It had such presence to it. Even though this is too cool toned for me with the grays and the silvers, you can't deny how beautiful this combination is and I'm sure someone is gonna love this piece. Beatrix Potter is one of my all time favorites and I was doing some mental gymnastics to try to convince myself to buy these plates. This china I immediately recognized as being something that was finer. How cute are these little cups? They almost reminded me of like dummy test cups. They're so small. There were regular size teacups as well. And handling these convinced me further that this was definitely fine china. So I wasn't surprised to discover it was Royal Kent, which is Polish china. Absolutely gorgeous set. The jadeite in this booth was almost all salt and pepper shakers and some spices there. The cream and sugar set was my favorite. This would be a great find if you had a kitchen this worked really well in. Drexel furniture is so high quality and this piece was just charming. Absolutely charming. I also really liked this federal style mirror. That would be great in an entryway. And I didn't notice until reviewing the footage that it's called Heaven's Holiday Helpers. I remember being mystified by why it was $75, but that makes more sense now. And what a beautiful piece. Royal Dalton figurines are so charming. This one in the center. I particularly thought that her little ermine muff on her hands and trimming her jacket was just so sweet. The Swedish Beauty Secrets book I wish I had seen that the first time because I'm dying to know what's in there. And this mirror was absolutely stunning. What a bummer that it wasn't for sale because whoever did the gesso work on this did an absolutely beautiful job with the detailing. White pip garland can be kind of hard to find so I was surprised to come across it here.
This pearlized glass candle holder was huge and an absolutely gorgeous piece. And these two I bought for someone who collects music boxes. Everything in this booth is arranged so that they're looking at this couple as they're dancing. This was a great basket. If you were in the market for something like that, what a find that would be. It's huge. This little fox was over $100 or I might have picked it up because fur has to either be antique or humanely sourced for me to even consider buying it. I bet you wouldn't have guessed that this is something I would pick up, but these World War II era trench shovels are absolutely fabulous for gardening. They're small and compact and super sturdy as you'd imagine they'd have to be. My husband is showing how easy it is to fold these down it always blows me away to think about how much time and skill it takes to make something like these snowshoes. Look at these sweet little dogs. There was quite an array of them. But this little guy over here on the right, he is the one that really caught my attention. So of course I brought him home. And on closer inspection, I think he is an Irish setter, which is serendipitous because my father's family was pictured in that photo. They had an Irish setter, I believe. I think his name was Buster. Along the way, I found these amazing silver candlesticks. They're definitely silver plate, and they have great patina. I love how heavy they are, and I particularly love the design on them, the leaves and the grapes. They feel very autumnal to me. Of course, they could certainly be summery, but to me, these said fall, so they're gonna be used in my fall decor. Happily, this giant hurricane glass fits over it perfectly and it is just the right height to use with these also thrifted tapers. This was also from an estate sale. The house was atrocious, but this was a great find, and for only $6, I was happy to take it home and wipe it off. She looks beautiful in the china cabinet with those little blue pumpkins, and I don't mind that there's crazing and a little discoloration. These little cuties were also thrifted. I think that's supposed to be Paul Revere on them, but there's no mark, so I really can't look it up. They feel really heavy, like maybe English Ironstone. So cute. And if you stayed to the end, you get a little bonus footage. This is Ella and Kian and Oliver, all rescues. Thank you so much for watching today. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and stay around for more. And I will see you in the next video.